the Illini play host to the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors here tonight at Assembly Hall, but it wasn't Hawaii that was slow to start. It was the Illini who were a little bit sluggish to begin with. I want to make sure you guys know I'm brilliant because before the game I told them they weren't ready to play. I didn't yell, I didn't kick anything, and they weren't ready to play at the beginning. And uh, I think it was a good learning lesson. Hawaii put together a seven-point lead with 16.49 remaining in the first half, but the Illini banked on three-pointers and the hot hand from Dominique Keller off the bench to give the Illini the advantage at half, 39-26. Yeah, I always have fun when I step on the floor, you know. When he leave me out there, I just try to go as hard as I can before he, before uh, I come out or a sub comes. So, you know, I, I just, I'm just out there playing my game. I, that's how I play. I have fun. I laugh. I be physical. And that's what I do. So when he put me in, I'm going to do that. Dominique had 14 points off the bench. He ties Chester Fraser, who also had 14. Statistically, the game was totally lopsided. Hawaii had 43 rebounds compared to Illinois' just 14. But turnovers hurt the Rainbow Warriors. They had 22, just four above their game average. The Illini lead by as much as 21 with eight minutes left in the game, but barely cling on to a 10-point lead at the end, 68-58. Um, you know, we get it to 21, but we just couldn't finish it. And... Uh... I guess put the, you know, knockout punch. And, you know, to their credit, they played hard. They made, took a long trip, practiced here a couple days. Um, and they, you know, they, they took advantage of the opportunity and showed that they, they have a chance to be a pretty good team. Reporting from Assembly Hall, I'm Jason Mussman for Plester.net, the college network.